something. It's early. I don't even, it's like 20 after 7. Yeah, I don't know. I just woke up this morning and I'm like, I need to go walk. Because I've been eating like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> so, we're starting out with a walk today. Room service came, our last room service. That's breakfast. What are you doing? I recorded three hours last <laughs> night of the room just in case I can find the specter that was attacking us the night before. This is a crazy man. I don't care. I'm <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. First of all, this was extra heavy, and I don't know why, because it's literally the exact same thing I order every day. Here's the creamer. Let's see. They gave us a special yeah. Look, they listened again. I instructed cheese and poppy. We got cheese and poppy. You can wait a second. Okay. Two bananas? Oh my god, these bananas have seen better days. Well, there's some brown bananas. Yeah, they are. Melons. Coffee. Oh my god, my C. Hmm. Well, they put ice in it. They never have ice in it. It's exciting. Thank you, guys. Michelle's giving me a hard time because I'm a cruise napper. I think some people are cruise nappers and some people are cruise slappers. You want to see what a slapper looks like? I'm a cruise slapper. And I'm a cruise napper. I like to get a good nap on a cruise. You lay down, it's around two o'clock, 2 p.m. You lay down, you pull the blankies up. Next thing you know, you wake up, it's 4.50, and you say, damn, where did the time go? Right? The worst is I was trying yesterday, my goal was you can sleep at home, they say, that's their line. What if part of your fun on a cruise is taking a nap? What if part of the enjoyment that you have, because I don't nap at home. Hold on a minute. When was the last time I napped at home? Some people are home nappers. I'm a cruise napper. Uh, yeah, they fix the remotes. I want to thank Carnival for finally fixing solar remote. Is it solar? No, it's got a battery and then I found out. I thought I had to dissect this thing. I've learned all about my enemy. <laughs> I'm supposed to learn your enemy. And I have learned my enemy. Should I go get blue iguana? Can you please get blue iguana bistro? I mean, I know you're not going to get up and go get it. Well, I was planning on later on going to get... What was I getting? Well, today's the... What do you call it? Today's the sea day, so you can get the brunch. And I was thinking my typical mac and cheese with an omelet. The brunch has lost its luster. All right, here's my thing. I get the mac, kids' mac and cheese, and I get an omelet, and I throw it on the mac and I flop it on the mac and cheese, and I party, right? Well, it's so hard for me to tell the dude that's waiting that I don't want any cheese on the omelet because there's enough cheese in the mac and cheese, right? Well, when I tell the dude, he's just like, you don't want anything on it? And I'm like, yeah, I want onions. And then he's like... And that's all? Like, no meat? No nothing? I'm like, no, just the mac and... Because I'm going to flop it on the mac and cheese, sir. And then he's just... Every time, the dude, if it's a dude, he gets, like, angry and walks away. Like, he's so disappointed in me. Like, all right, Dad. Let's see what you got. Room service. Part what do you got? Two. Show us what you got. I got Explain a burrito. It. And I got... Whoever threatened shadows and an arepa. So yeah. Beautiful. Oh, dunk. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's <laughs> Breakfast burritos at sea. Fun to the family. <laughs> So I'm an island boy, I'm an island boy, I'm an island boy, I'm an island boy. Let's talk about this shirt and what it's gone through on this cruise. Like, I brought like 10 button downs, but this particular button down has really seen a lot of action. Been through it. 
this button down. It's been through it. I don't know if it'll ever be the same again. I'll be truthful with you. It has not been washed. It's been worn seven times and out, like we're sweating. So this thing's actually standing on its own. It's ready to take a walk to the laundry mat soon. It's funny, every cruise we need less and less clothes, but I still have the same abundance. Of no, I, but I think I'm wearing a lot. I, I'll tell you what, the one cruise, there was a cruise we went on where I literally wore the same, the same button down the whole week. And it might have been a four-nighter, but it was like, we could have literally brought on like, like a hobo with a stick and a bag in the back. I just walked in like on top. I'm a hobo. I just get too nervous and not having enough clothes. We gotta play basketball today. We gotta cash in our stuff today. Oh my god, our tickets. I'm thinking about stroking them. Stroking them. We got a lot to do. We do. We got a big day ahead of us here. In the cruise doors. She was a little upset about my alcohol intake. She doesn't feel like I drank enough. And she got the drink package, but... I need a, like, a drink package friend. A drink package partner? A drink they package should, You should start an app where you like can see if people are cruising. Shipmate? Instead of shipmate, it should be like booze mate. <laughs> like, we're looking for people that are drinking on the ship. We're listening to the Red Frog. Yeah, Red Frog mate. Red Frog hoppers. Now, last night, you could see why those performers, like, the first thing, I was kind of like, I don't know what's going on here. The one was really good. I thought all of them were good last night. Yeah, they were, but the ones are really good. The one girl, I think, would be better if she took the microphone and threw it across the room and sang, because she's so loud that she's oh, like, yes, whoa, it's good. just the microphone's too loud. They need to turn her thing on the back. Turn it down. To turn it down a just bit, hon. Level. It's fine. Okay. You can do this all day. So if there's anybody that just does that and their wives are like, he does nothing but sit on the balcony and sneak cigarettes. That's fine. Go out there and smoke your cigarettes. And tell them Jimmy from the cruise door said he can. When they're dragging him off the ship. <laughs> ship. Oh my God. What was the ship? I think it was the elation. The whole cruise we just smelled weed. Oh, that's when we got, our, they moved our room. They moved our room and they moved us to like the weed wing. Yeah. And it's tough, man, when you're a pot smoker and you can't, and you smell it the whole time, and you're like, man, I want to... But you can't, because you're trying to keep the rules. You want to keep the integrity of the ship. But yeah, there was people smoking like crazy on that ship. The whole hallway stunk. I'm walking down the hallway when they're bringing us to the, to the room, and I'm like, you got to, what, what is, wow, where is that coming from? Did not likes about the ship. This was the worst movie week on a cruise ship that I've ever witnessed yeah, in my life. Yeah, the movies are bad for, what's this, February? This supposed to be the February lineup. Cry Macho is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. And I want to tell everyone that, do not watch this movie. Hey like guys, burgers. I have one for each hand. If I had a third hand, I'd have a third burger. Buy one of these. You might need two, but buy at least one. Because what I just did in that bathroom will never be the same again. You need it. Even, you know, the bathroom's bad when your wife goes over to spray the bathroom and her head is trying to get away from her body. That's when you know it's bad. Okay? So bring this. And if you have something bigger, bring it. If you need to bring it, bring it. Because it just went down. It's a day brunch. Again. I got some orange and gray goose and cranberry gray goose. And mix them together. It's good. It's actually really good, the mix. I do. Salmon seafood salad, like usual. That's some hash browns. Thank you. 12 hour French toast. We got the mac and cheese, onion, omelet, biscuit combination. <laughs> Oh, 
I want to do a video of Michelle eating catfish for the first time. She's never had it before. About to get into it. We're all going right now. She's trying her best. I don't know. What's it taste like? I'm gonna try. It's a weird taste. I don't think they're gonna like it. Isn't it like odd? I like it. But what is it? I like it better than any of the fish I've ever had on a person. Mm -hmm. It tastes like cod. It's just different. Something it's like bad. chicken and cod mixed. Okay, okay. It's nice rice pudding. It's got cashews. I mean, um, it's got uh, it's a cod in there. What are they called? Pistachios. Pistachios. That's good. Mm-hmm. That is good. Oh, mac and cheese. Oh, here. No, we should get. We should bring them back to the room for breakfast tomorrow. Or later. One, the mac and cheese. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're so right about that. That's a good call. Oh, not the mac and cheese. These. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a smoky mac. Oh, it is? Mm hmm. Yeah, wait. People, get to lunch. Go to lunch, eat lunch, because nice lunch is better than dinner somehow. What? It's like a nice piece of fish. This is like hot, right? It looks nice. <laughs> okay. This is Michelle Struggles coming with two drinks. One's on the floor. One's on the floor. <laughs> I got the coasters. She got coasters. She got coasters. <laughs> so we're good. We got coasters. Um, this ain't my one spot. And there's the other one. <sighs> we did well. A couple things first, starting with the ghost. All right, since we've all heard the ghost story. Last night, I there was no noises. We were fine. I did record three hours of, uh, that I didn't go over yet. I went over like the back end of it and there was nothing really weird, but I still have like three hours of it to go through. It was like three and a half hours, but late last night, and I'll let Michelle tell her side, but I want to tell my side first since I'm the victim. Okay. I was asleep. I guess I finally dozed off because I was having trouble getting to sleep last night for whatever reason. There was no reason, there was no rockiness or nothing. Maybe because we were going so slow. I don't know, maybe because there wasn't any rockiness. But anyway, I was still wide awake and, and I finally fell asleep. And I guess when I fell asleep, at one point, I woke up and I heard like a noise, but I wasn't like fully awake. I must've been like still asleep. And I felt for Michelle, when she was there, I felt her. Well then like the bathroom door opens and you know, something comes charging into the bed. Now, here's the thing. Am I a coward or am I like ready for wait, a ghostly wait, fight? Did you just say something I want you to charging into the bed. Yes. Okay. Well, that's something. That's... Now I want to hear your side. That's something what? And then what happened in your in Oh, your I don't remember. I just remember like kinda like I wait. got up in protection mode and wait. start with, with my sword <laughs> to protect remember? my wife that was under attack. You don't remember? They would tell me I was asleep. Oh, M, G. Okay. First of I all. I knew something happened, but I won't really know what it was. Okay, well, I got up. I was trying to pull up the list of this. We need a blanket or towel or something, too. Um, this is the blanket. I'm Jim under the blanket in a minute. Oh, you're going to recreate? Yeah. Okay, so... But I'm in the bed, not under on the sofa. Yes, this is Jim in the bed, okay? Anyway, I went to the bathroom. I even flushed the toilet, so he should have heard that noise, too, knowing this is someone, me, yeah. in the bathroom. Okay, so I come out. I shut the bathroom door also. Well, that probably woke me up with the toilet flush. I, the toilet flush, and but I But I probably wasn't sure what it was. You know, I probably just woke up from the noise. Kind of like the women that have been screaming in the hallways. Let's get to the... Yeah. Okay. The attack. The charge. I yeah. shut the bathroom door. I just proceeded to go back to my side of the bed. I sleep near the window. And as I'm crossing where Jim is, all that happened was he saw me and he was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> And listen, now you might think that he was joking. 
No, it wasn't no. Me. I was like, Jim, it's me. It's me. Jim, it's me. It's me. And I still was like, oh, no, no, it's not. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my, God. my heart was pounding after that, okay? All right? Because the adrenaline the Jim went, just went through got transferred over to me. Yeah. And that's... The story. That's what happened. That's what happened. Last night. <laughs> it happened like, just like that. So I remember it. But I don't remember doing that. I don't remember no, no, like no. how I screamed. Yes, so you did. And basically, I screamed like, like a bitch, and yeah. like there's no protecting anyone. I basically was trying to get under the blankets to, away from the specter. First of all, the blankets were. Well, look at this. You. Doesn't this look ghostly to you? Like the honestly, the ghost of Christmas's present came and got me the candle. And I didn't know what to do. I thought she was going to show me the present Christmases. Well, I just think it's crazy <laughs> that you thought I was a ghost. I didn't you know. screamed and kicked, and you, what, you th were trying to get yourselves under the covers. It and it was. wasn't a joke. No, I wasn't joking. Mm -hmm. Well, once these people see what went on in this room the night before that, they're going to completely understand why the fear was there. Yeah, since you're saying this, like, let's go back to the night. And when I went to lay back, it was kind of lit up because I had the TV on. And, like, a fly, like, flew by. Like, it was weird. It, like, curved and kind of, like, came right at me. And I, like, kind of put my arm up to, like, block it. Remember, I'm not asleep at this point. I'm wide awake. I just, I sat, I went up, went pee, came back, put the mask on, laid down. This thing, like, flew at me. And I, like, swung at him. Like, did I get it? Like, because I swear it was, like, some kind of fly. But the more I think about it. I think it might have been an orb. Well, we have the Laura Gracie duck again. Oh, she's been on the Freedom. So from the relation. Oh yeah, all the ports. Her for her new port. She's a traveling duck. <laughs> that was terrible. Get a good look at her. Get a good look at her. No eyebrows or nothing in this thing. Okay, so I'm going to the last chain sale to see if they have any, like, sometimes they put out old stuff from previous cruises and they put it out. So that's what I'm looking for. Cause the stuff they had the whole cruise is not good. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna go up and look at the Carousels because I really like this one conditioner and I wanna see if they have it. Captain Chimo. Captain Chimo. Chimo? Chimo. Chimo, get it right. Oh, I'm I'll say it. Hunker down. We gotta go play basketball. Time. I know we gotta play quick. We're gonna, I'm gonna take it out again. I'm gonna win this time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's on fire. Fire just lit up. Oh. Oh, you got a stroke going. Keep it. She's still firing it. She's still firing it up. Three straight. Four. Seven. Tight. Mask off. I didn't play my mask off. Shake it out. Jim won. It's not fair. They're, they're steaming up. I can't see them. Are they steaming? Yeah, because of the because of the mask. Oh no. So we're finally here, finally back. Getaway Island. Getaway Island is back. This is my attempt at saving this scene for Josh and Michelle. <laughs>
All right, late night buffet. Yo, it looks really good. Fried shrimp. We got some shrimp in here. <laughs> Look at this. And what is this? Some kind of like. That's dope. It's a really fun. It's really good spot. Shrimp mahi and like. This is like an enchilada. That looks like not good, but. Like the enchilada. Yo, I just have to talk about this fish from last night. I mean, look at this. This is like, this fish is good for the last night. They should have did this earlier in the cruise. Really. Okay, so we're wrapping up tonight um, in the cruise actually, but let's not do that. Let's not do that. It's the last night. I let's hate not it. talk about the last night. We I don't hate do the last that. Night. They do. It's not fair. Josh loved the juggler. That was his favorite part. Um, All of our stuff's out. I feel like my heart's empty. We had a great cruise. It was a good cruise. They're always good. This is why I wouldn't cruise with us if I were you guys. Anybody out there watching, I wouldn't cruise with us for, for probably many reasons. But one being, we have had great weather on every cruise we've been on. So we're doing In the last, like, so many. I, I think we had, like, really the only good. bay cruise we ever had weather-wise were from the north. And that's only the time it takes you to get down to the Caribbean, like, battling through North Carolina or that whole nine. Yeah. But we're due yeah. for some bad weather. Like, we're due for, like, a ship to look like it's, like, like you ever see the fishing show? The, the fishing show when the dudes are just, like, going up and getting thrown all over the place? Like, we're, we're going to have that happen. Show is good. Getaway Island, by the way, we say Getaway Island. Everyone knows Getaway Island. Don't act like you don't know it. And you like it. You don't tell anybody you like it. You're embarrassed to admit you like it. But you like it. Okay, and it's all right. 